Hi all, Patrick here again. In previous videos we have seen how to use find value functions and how to use an update record function. This time we are going to take it a little further and use a for each record function. A for each record does exactly what its name implies. For each record, do something. It comes in two parts. The first is the find part where you create your entity collection to be worked on. The for each record will then loop through this collection of records and carry out the second instruction against each record. For this example, we are going to update the addresses of all contacts related to an account when the account's address is updated. So we start by creating a new formula. It's going to be on the account of type save perform action and we are going to use the classic editor. We will use the snippets dropdown to get us started with our for each record. A find records function will return multiple records to be worked on. We delete the example provided and click on the functions tab. We search for find records and then hold down the shift key and click on the function to bring up the wizard. We are looking for contacts where the parent account is this account. So we select this account from the source tab. The star means this would return every field on each of the contacts found. But in this scenario, the only value we want back from the contacts is their GUID, so we select only contact. We leave no lock set to true and the record count at 50. When we click generate, the function is added to the formula canvas. This will give us our list of contact records to be updated. So now we need to actually update them. We will delete the existing sample and instead use the update record builder that can be found in the explore tab. We select the field on the contact entity that we want to change. In this scenario, we will be updating the value of city, country and the three street address fields and the postal code. In the top right hand corner, we select the update record on the pick list and then click the arrow to generate. The update record syntax is now added directly to the formula canvas. The for each record will carry out the update against each record it finds in the find record function. What we have now is an entity collection that is basically a list of contact record GUIDs. We can use a current record function to access a specific value inside each of these entities. Since we are looking at contact GUIDs, we will use current record contact ID. This update record function now knows it needs to update a contact. The specific contact to be updated will be whichever GUID the for each record is currently iterating over. So next we want to start replacing the value placeholders in the set attribute functions with the address values from the account. Now that the formula logic has been added, we need to specify when the formula should trigger. So we navigate to the register tab, we leave the event at create and update, and we set the trigger fields to be the relevant address fields on the account. We save the formula, and after the save completes, we run the syntax checker. This formula is now active in our Dynamics instance. On this screen, I have an account that has five contacts connected to it. This advanced find shows the contacts and their various address information. If I make a change to an address field on the account and then click save, you can see that this has now been replicated out to the contacts. Thank you for watching and as always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please visit support.north52.com or email support at north52.com.